Dear colleagues, welcome to my hospital at Ranaghat, West Bengal, India. In this video, I want to show capsulorexis in two intumescent cataracts. This is the first one. By this time, the main incision has been made. And now, this is a sideboard on the left side of the main incision. And now I'm injecting air bubble into the anterior chamber. Now I inject tripan blue dye underneath this air bubble. The dye should touch on every point of the anterior capsule for uniform staining. And now the dye is washed out with BSS. And then viscoelastic substance that I am using in this case is hydroxypropyl methyl cellulose. Yes, no sodium hyaluronate. And now one more side port is being made on the right side. Yes, in intumescent cataracts it is necessary to make two side ports and make sure that you introduce your needle through the right sideboard and make this C flap and you see lot of oily fluid has come out and now I make a very small rexis at this stage I call it a mini rexis and now cortical aspiration is being done to decrease the intralenticular pressure. This is a very good technique. If you aspirate some lens matter through this small opening, the intralenticular pressure will decrease drastically and the cataract doesn't behave like intumescent cataracts anymore. Now again, SPMC has been injected. Now I take a Vana scissor and make this small cut. Should not be a radial cut. It should be oblique cut at the capsular axis margin. And now the rexis is being enlarged to an optimum sized one. Yes. In this way, we can do capsulorexis in intumescent cataracts very well. Now, this is the second case. The capsule has been stained, all the incisions have been made, and now viscoelastic substance, yes, again, 2% hydroxypropyl methyl cellulose is being injected into the anterior chamber. And now, introduce the needle to the right side port and make this C flap again. And now make a very small rexis at this time. And now aspirate some cortical lens matter. The bag is decompressed very well. The intralenticular pressure decreases drastically if we aspirate some cortical matter. In this way, you can use bimanual irrigation aspiration to aspirate some cortical matter. And now, again, SPMC. Take a Vana scissor and make a very small cut at the margin of this rexis. And now hold this and enlarge this mini rexis into an optimum sized capsular rexis. That's it. In this way, we can 
do rexis in all intumescent cataracts thank you very much for watching hope this video will encourage you to do two staged epsilon rexis